Yeah, I'm not. Oh, let's do this one then. Great as arsenal. Whoa, what? What? I heard what? you're in need of my particular set of skills. Something like that. There's a high band EM cloak signal popping up all over London. It's more powerful than anything on the open market right now, which means it's worth a lot to the right people. We need you to track it down. That's all? Easy. Well, maybe. The thing's bouncing around between half a dozen different locations, and I can't get a beat on it. If I had to guess, I'd say it's some kind of cloaked vehicle. Uh, hold up. Did you say ghost car? No one said ghost car. Sweet! I'll do it. No further info required or wanted. All right. Well, like I was saying, I'm personally I'm not in energy drinks. I've never drank them. Uh, closest I've gotten have been basically sodas. Just sodas that are high in sugar. Well, actually, not high in sugar. More, your, more like Mountain Dew is probably the highest in the sugar. Otherwise, caffeine probably the same. Highest being whatever's in Mountain Dew. Otherwise, I don't believe in the whole getting energy drinks just because of the fact that of everything they put in them, as well as they're just not my not my kind of thing, not my kind of taste. I'd rather just have some coffee or drink that has maybe a little bit more caffeine, and then call it good. Like before I've tried, uh, uh, I think it was called Coca-Cola coffee, which was just Coca-Cola with the taste of coffee and the added caffeine, and uh, the body armor drink, which is more to hydrate, except it was a body armor edge where that actually has caffeine and electrolytes in it. Barely would drink the, out of the container, it would get me awake, but boy, it tasted bad. <laughs> I never wanted to drink that again. I think I only had like two or three and after that I just tossed out the last one or two I had. Just because it tasted so bad. Never thought it would because normally body armor on its own actually tastes fine, refreshing, good, decent taste. With the caffeine electrolytes and their edge mix, it tastes horrible. Eh, I'd say that's enough for my rant on uh energy drinks and uh, caffeinated drinks and then back to more of the game which also for anyone who hasn't seen the uh, roadmap and update that I posted for August uh, this month I will actually be playing the Ghost of Tsushima director's cut for PS5. And besides that, I was thinking about Psychonauts 2, but to do so, I also want to play through the first Psychonauts, because I haven't actually played through that game, so it'd be good to play through that and record it for you guys uh, before the game comes out August 25th, I think, is when it was. It was after Ghost of Tsushima, which that one is August 20th, for sure. Which then also means that you're probably going to see all the stuff for... Oh, guess I'm going away from it. Which I'm planning to uh, pump out the stuff for Watchdog Legions. What? Okay, I don't know where this thing's at then. Alrighty then. Plan to pump out the rest of, st of the videos for Watchdog Legions. Watch, sorry, Watchdogs Legion Bloodlines. Uh, pump out the rest of Outriders, and also get through the Spider-Man remaster on PS5. Just could go to a main road and keep going then. Turn right, and I'll probably start getting stronger. There we go. Yeah, since I made a wrong turn. Well, yeah, definitely look, look forward to then how I'm playing on uh, Psychonauts, which when I play that, I'll be playing it on the PS4. 
Well, I take that back. I'll play the PS4 version, but I'm going to be playing it on the PS5. So also the load time should get cut down, and hopefully it should run a little smoother. But I'm not entirely sure. Just make sure it would work and... What in the world is the thing, then? It's this way, then? In the park? Oh, I hate getting stuck in things. Alright, here we go. Yeah, in the park. That's weird. Alright. You know what? Let's just call Sergei and ride him. Or Sergei. Now I don't need to worry about running into stuff. Easier to get to. I don't see the car. Wait, is that good or bad? You're definitely near a cloaking field. Look for a kind of shimmering, blurry space. Like when you get a migraine. Oh, I've never had one of those. Really? Try talking to you sometime. Ooh. Found the ghost car! Except it doesn't have <laughs> wheels, doors, a back seat, or an engine. Oh. Must be made out of the same material as the car. An early prototype, maybe? Or another tormented spirit haunting the streets of London. Ooh. The only one being tormented here is me. Get to the next location. Yeah, I probably should just start with riding Sergey a while ago. Because that'll help me just get over the building and save me the hassle of trying to work around everything. Especially if everything's in closer proximity like this, where it's less than a thousand meters, because that won't be too bad just to fly to, where otherwise if it's like over a thousand meters or two thousand or three thousand, I'd rather just drive. So, who's the buyer? Not telling. Fuck off. Not even a hint. They're paying for their anonymity wrench. Oh, that explains why they want an invisible car. I can't fly over this. Okay. So there is a height restriction. Restriction. Well, that's no problem. I could just go around. Ha ha. And off we go. Further down this way. And should be getting close here. Right in the construction side? No, it's not. Hey. Probably not an area with enemies then. Really, that's going the wrong direction. Okay. It's probably going to be an alley over here. Some... The ghost hunters of London are on the scene. Legend is, a car was brutally murdered here 20 years ago to the day. That's the lore? It's the ghost of a car? Spirit! If you can hear me, rev your engine! Huh. It's a lot closer to the EM field we're looking for. But the shape is... off. Oh, come on, you can say it, Jordy. It's a ghost toilet. <laughs> it's another prototype is what it is. Makes sense this is experimental tech after all. Hey, would you mind muting me for a sec? I need to void my ghost bladder. So when you say experimental tech, who exactly has been doing the experimenting? You don't need to know, and I don't want to tell you. Oh, come on, man. It could help me find the ghost car. Oh, yeah? The Ouija board's not doing it for you? 
Yeah, it's kind of weird, just the random things that are cloaked in the tech. And it's not just vehicles or uh, servicing machines or anything like that, but a bench, which was out of wood it looked like, and then a toilet. So that's interesting. And at least this other one is also very close. So it's not that bad to get to... Okay. I'm glad that worked. Oh, big area. Probably like auto lock onto it when I swing by and it's in my view. Uh, I'll probably be heading off to the side somewhere. So, hmm. Hmm. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Control, I've lost sight of the target. Over. That's weird. Ah. Come back after losing him. Dispatch, deploying drones to apprehend the suspect. We are pursuing the target. Yeah, oh no, you're not. Any other patrols have eyes on the suspect over? Hmm. Received. Returning to HQ. Over. It's escaping! Come back, ghost car! Don't! Go into the light! Stop doing the fucking ghost car bed and start chasing the car! Christ! Eyes on the road, wrench. It's getting away. Oh no, this might not be fast enough. What? Oh no, I'm not even seeing it. Damn it! Lost my connection! It ghosted us! Damn it! <laughs> Did you get it? Because it's, it's a ghost. Oh my god, shut up. I got a cleaner beat on the signal now. I think I know where it's hiding. Don't you mean where it's haunting? <laughs> Go get the fucking car! Alright, so this time I'll go to where it's at, and then I'll get in the vehicle. Because it didn't look I, like I could actually hack it and stop it or slow it down. Oh, please be next to a road so I can get a vehicle and drive through. Otherwise, if it's in a park or something like that, it'll make things just tougher. And at least even with failing that, there's still at least that comedic bit between Wrench and Jordy. So that's fun. <laughs> Not that way. Uh, oh. Hmm. So it's off this way. Okay. All right. Before I get too far, then. Easy, easy. Need to grab a car. Any car will do. This one will do. Over 
here. Alright, now I gotta find that car fast. No sign of the target. Over. Oh, just stay away, stay away. Wanna get them off for me? That way. Are you kidding? Over. Urgent call. You know what? Possible Whatever. hostile at your location. Receive. We are trailing. Damn it. Lost my connection. This is just pathetic. No, no, no. I've got this. Well, just the dumb thing is, can't Control, even I can't see, see the, the suspect. Damn Please car. You? Putting an end to the chase now. <sighs> To Just if I had been in a vehicle when that car started driving on the first one, then I would have gotten it. But in the second area, I Negative. guess I just decided to no drive of off. Over. So hopefully this third area will be easy to find and locate. Target is long Sadly, gone. I don't think it'll be that way. That'll be sad. One thing that's interesting to think about, too, about the Watch Dogs series is think about the... There's not really that many uh, unique and iconic characters through the series. So I'm kind of wondering, what are you guys' favorite characters? If you don't have a, a number one, at least like a top three, I would say my top three for interesting characters would probably be, in no particular order, Raymond Kenny, Wrench, and... Gotta say Ray, just because he was in the first Watch Dogs and the second, and you actually learn a bit more from him on the DLC from the first Watch Dogs, and a little bit more and see him actually become a lot more of a... Uh, a lot better with people in Watch Dogs 2. Profiler's throwing me off. Alright, I saw it, so now I can just get in the car. Get back here, you greased up little hog! There we go. Now it's starting to decloak. And download them pretty quick. Good. Good, good, good. Gotcha! Alright, get in the car before it drives off again. I'm in. Does my voice sound invisible right now? You know what? I know you want me to ask you what invisible sounds like, and I'm not gonna fucking do it. <laughs> Radio when you're at the drop point. Okay, well, can I just say, I love this feisty, will they, won't they dynamic we have going on. It's just the... 
Hello? Jordy? <laughs> And that comedy is one of the reasons that Wrench is in my top three. Top three interesting slash favorite characters. Just because of how he's funny, but also how he's actually really good with tech. So he can actually make some makeshift gear and actually dissect tech and... Jordy? 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 What? What? I was just wondering what you're gonna do with the ghost car. Oh my god. None of your goddamn business. Okay, because I've got a really weird idea. Oh, and if you're wondering if it's a sex thing, no, Jordy, okay? Way weirder. I'm literally this close to putting out a hit on you. <laughs> Yeah, due to that, as well as when he takes things apart, he actually learns from it and can improve it, or improve his own gear and skills, which makes him even more of a good character. Or I guess I should say likable character. Not necessarily good, but likable. LMG. Um, yeah. And more money that I don't spend. All right then. Well, we solved the mystery of the ghost car. And we did it together. Sure. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to spend the rest of the day firing an assault rifle and screaming. <laughs> Oh, Jordy's always so serious. <laughs>